Welcome back to The Daily Rundown with me, Dan Morfitt, and my guests, AJ Hill and Stephen Armstrong. Deep in thoughts there. Really deep in thoughts. Right, let's look at our next story. Glastonbury is not even properly underway and already mud is everywhere. With traffic also a problem, police have warned festival goers to delay travel to the Glastonbury sites. So all of us at home can feel all warm and snug. And look at these pictures. Are you ready for this? Glasto. Oh, middle Glastonbury. <laughs> oh, that's picturesque, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Tarquin, are we going to see There's Coldplay? I've forgotten my trousers, I Natalie. know, but they've bought wellies. Oh, uh, my Lord. I just wanted to say uh, to my housemates that aren't watching this, Carhull and, um, and the other one, uh, <laughs> yes, I've forgotten your name, doesn't matter. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! ha. Are they at Glastonbury? Yeah, they're being very smug about it as well. And do you think they're watching the Daily Rundown right now? Yeah, on their phones. Of course, yeah. of course, yeah. But um, yeah, they're, they're just like, in fact, I actually saw a Facebook update of one of them recently and there he's in a traffic jam <laughs> so the Pilton mud bath would you go uh, I've been once in 2007 after my uh, after my undergraduate degree and it was horrendous I was on my feet for 20 hours of every day afterwards I've never felt so knackered in my entire life isn't it really expensive now as well like 170 odd could have took 200 and <gasps> yeah, wow 200 and lots of pounds you can go yeah. to Rhodes for that yeah and use your sick days and you go <laughs> to see Coldplay would no. you go? No, Coldplay. I've been once uh, in the it mists of time. It was when uh, I remember bare naked ladies. I remember throwing an apple at Keanu Reeves when he was playing with Dogstar. Why would you do this that? This would have been Keanu. There were, there were piles Keanu. of fruit. This would have been 98, 99, maybe 2000. Yeah, that would have been around there. It was around when I, uh, I think it is when I finished my yeah. undergraduate degree as well. Yeah, we went and I remember uh, it was a couple of years after the, um, the, uh, Truck had fired out all of the stuff into the dance tent. Oh, fired out all the stuff into the, the yeah, silage, they, silage. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 the toilets are just big pits. Yeah, yeah so they have big trucks that suck yeah. all of the stuff out. And as it was driving past the dance tent, it kind of went blah 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 blah. Which Boom, is, which is ironic because I think that's when Coldplay made their debut. Oh, yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's <laughs> uh, But yeah, I have been. Um, I we saw uh, somebody who pitched their tent uh, in the inside the four legs of a pylon so <laughs> it, it was buzzing with electricity and they must have ah. had that all the way through uh, it was it was brilliant i had my face painted as uh, the the crying clown but instead of a black tear it was a red tear and i just spent the evening walking into the evening. fires so yeah. you only had, I only had one evening because it all. No, 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 I had, no, I had, that was, I had my face painted on the Sunday. All oh, right. Uh, is it, is it worth the it then? Is it worth yeah, it? Yeah, it was good fun. The 12 hours way that they're going through. Oh, God. The, the, by the sounds of it, you're paying ludicrous amounts of money to go camping, and then you have to go through a quagmire. Yeah. Well, you could just, I think, if you just waterlogged your back garden, uh, played a game of rugby on it, and then put a record on, but stood in the back garden of the next door neighbours. Well, I'm really cynical about this because the BBC show loads of the coverage on, on TV. Yeah. So it's like, do you want to see Adele at Glastonbury? No, I'd just rather press number one button. Oh, HD, that's nice. Yeah, well, She's at the Pyramid Stage. No, to be see, fair, see I when I went, I enjoyed myself. Yeah. I saw Amy Winehouse. That's never going to happen again. It was quite enjoyable, and I got very, very drunk and had a lot of fun. There were a lot of people a actually of sliding around in the mud, though, on the first day, which some people are probably doing today. I'm like, how are you going to be clean? Because by the end of those five days, I was like, this is... I did notice one thing that you said, though, when we were looking at those pictures mm. of those poor, terrible people. Mm. Middle Clastonbury. Mm -hmm. Has it got a little bit more gentrified? Because I remember, yes. you know, I know some absolute crusties and I love them to bits, but they used to go every year. They've stopped going. They've started to because go to like big there's, there's stuff festivals. on the continent. So there's no, yeah, there's yeah. other festivals. I mean, there's Beat Herder, which is uh, in the Ribbon Valley. That's that's probably the nicest festival I went to. Kendall Calling is always there. amazing. Well, Kendall yeah. Calling, um, on the on the way to the studio today, I walked past the, the lineup for Kendall Calling and... and it was it was a, a really belting lineup, and I think as somebody who comes from the lakes, 
you know, support the, the Lake District, get back to Kendall, who, who, who took a real kick in uh, from the, the floods. floods yeah. uh, get back there. I mean, we saw, like, I, my colleague at work was looking up the, the, the list of performers, and I wasn't aware that it starts on Wednesday. I mean, I always... Yeah, Kendall Collins starts, at, yeah. Oh, well, no, Glastonbury, oh, Glastonbury starts. Glastonbury, Glastonbury, yeah, Glastonbury, yeah, it used yeah. to start on a Thursday. From, I mean, I remember well, going down do, on yeah, Thursday. Yeah, they keep it going. They keep, but now Glastonbury's suffering the floods, so it's, uh, it's, yeah. it's payback time. It's payback time, but um, yeah, basically, there's a place called Best. There's a festival called Bestival, which oh, down on like the Isle of Wight, I went to the first yeah, one. Which must be better than Glastonbury because it's called Bestival. It's in the well, name. that's the thing. I, I'm I'm a bit middle class about festivals, so mm. I, I went to the first uh, V V95 how in Warrington. How can you see a middle class about festivals? No, no, no. V, those pictures, v, when they were there. You're going, <laughs> look at those middle class people with their, they, their I, party I, I, I went to V in '95 when it was a one day festival in Warrington. Yeah, that was a good day. Uh, I've been to like Southside in Germany and uh, Bestival good. and Benny Kassim. That's a Benny Kassim is meant to be amazing. Yeah, I, I know. You get, friends who went you, to you get a beach yeah. holiday and then a gig and everybody's Spanish and everybody's great. I mean, to be fair, this weekend I went to Oswald's Whistle Carnival and they have an inflatable Helter Skelter there. <gasps> Oswald Whistle. Uh, Oswald Whistle. Uh, and they also had one of the least interested performers who yeah. just punctuated every, every, uh, every performance with. Make sure he gets safely off the stage. <laughs> and it was just, it was, it was just everything that, that England had to offer, and it was just great. Well, let's let's move on from a mud-soaked uh, Pilton. I refuse mm. to call it Glastonbury. Why? Okay. It's nowhere near Glastonbury. Well, it's in Pilton. Yeah, I know, and it, it's it's a bit grotty, folks. So go somewhere cheaper for the. That's grot. like saying the V go festivals Rose. at Stoke. <laughs> it's a Western. Right. Let's move on to more thrill pleasure seekers. Two teenagers went for a four a.m. joyride on a roller coaster at the weekend. <laughs> The pair climbed fences to get into Blackpool Pleasure Beach and snuck into the control room, switching the ride on. They were then spotted on CCTV cameras riding the Blue Flyer ride. They even played on the 82-year-old wooden roller coaster for up to half an hour before breaking into the park's tea cafe and throwing food around. A 15-year-old boy from Blackpool was arrested at the scene and given a community resolution order and no other arrests were made. Is this... Is this just adolescence on foolery, or is this amazing. serious criminal? It's amazing. Amazing. It is the clearest. De- it is the literal definition of joy riding. Yes. It, 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 that is what I love about this. These kids have gone. We, we could steal a car, but that's not really joy riding. It's just saying it comes with. You've got to tax it. You've got to get insurance. Fa- third party fire and theft. There's all kind of responsibilities that come with stealing a car. If you just break in and go on a roller coaster, that is amazing. They can't go anywhere because it's only in one direction. My yeah. is like health, health and safety. Health and safety, though, folks. Health and safety. Those young, young men could have been injured. They I like the fact that serious injuries. Security guards were watching it all on CCTV. Yeah. In 1981. No one died yeah. in 1982. In 2016, <laughs> two, children, <laughs> two children got in. Wait, this is the point though. What were those security guards do? Oh, it's 42 acres. It's quite a big site. Yeah, but the, Blackpool that, Pleasure Beach is not that big. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can hear that. Woo! Come on, there's only one ride going. Like you can, you can, should be able to hear that in the dead See, of night. See, now I've been to Blackpool and the amount of noises that happen in Blackpool around that sort of time. Being able to, to <laughs> differentiate, which is the cry of a 15-year-old enjoying the great yeah. benefits of an 84-year-old roller coaster, whacking around, you know, I mean, that's, I mean, that's... A oh, scream you, of elation could yeah. be very much misconstrued as, as a, a cry, yeah. from as a cry for help. Yeah, well, the last time I was in Blackpool, it was for Young Farmers Weekend, and <laughs> what they got oh. up to, I don't want all to All the even, fun of the fair. All, well, none of the fun, of, well, none of the fun of the fair and lots of non-fun. It was just, it was... I, I just, it, I was praying to turn round and see a bunch of Glaswegians. It was, I was praying to see like the, the natural enemy of the farmers, of the young farmers. <laughs> the, Glaswegians. The, the, the Glaswegians. That's, it was, I just, Blackpool is, a, is just brilliant. I love Blackpool. Blackpool's great and this just makes it even better. Those young gentlemen had a good time, but they're, they're I, how did they even turn it on and I would, get on the roller coaster? That's I, why I, I want to know. How did that even again, happen? I work with somebody who's from Blackpool, and, and the first and the first thing they said was not, "Oh my lord." The, the first thing they said was, "Well, they've quite clearly got over the cars over the fence at the back there." Uh, so, <laughs> so everybody knows so about it. Think, Blackpool. Oh, yeah, yeah. They just park around the back, and the, you can climb over the climb over the cars and over the fence. It's, but how do they turn it on and get on the roller coaster? How do you do that? I, I don't know. What well, essentially these children? I mean, these these are the these are the 
the these are the carnies of the future. The these, carnies yeah, of the future. These, these wow. Are, these children are going to be these children. The, the, I would be surprised if these children's first words were keep your hands inside the car, scream if you want to go faster. These are these. Sit these, down or you might die. That's, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. How, how, no, but come on. How, 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 how in life? Fun. How in life have they managed to a turn that machinery on mm -hmm. and then get on it and then after half an hour get off or did they get caught because I think this is just the Blackpool version. Have we all seen the film it's Catch Me If You Can? Yeah, where yes. the guy, he, he, he's, a, he's a trickster and he's now, he's like turned into that. I think that's what's going to happen. Blackpool's a little bit more low rent. Yeah, but I think these children are going to, these kids are going to be, uh, they're going to be brought in as the security guys. I'm not the a pilot, I'm a roller coaster operator. <laughs> Let it's, me it's, it's like yes. they're playing the computer game theme park. But for real, yeah, which I quite like. Well, and why did they trash the food, though? Yeah, that I was. Don't know. I that's think a I bit think weird. that's why they got the community resolution order. But not many fifteen-year-old lads can say at four o'clock in the morning they rode an eighty-two-year-old and had the time of their life. <laughs> The yes. roller coaster was an 82-year-old yes, wooden was. roller coaster, it was, yes, yes. and it was fantastic. It was ride. a fantastic I've... ride. Yeah, it was. It was. I think that this is the. the, the <laughs> I recently had the, the opposite experience of this, where these children, <laughs> these children have taken a computer game and made it real. Uh, I was at the Trafford Centre recently, where the, uh, the gentleman called Michael Bisbing, who's the UFC um, middleweight champion of the world, was there. And on the way back, there were two gentlemen who were talking about how they would fit into the UFC fight world right uh, and their basis was it was their experience from playing the UFC computer game and they were literally going well on the computer game when the guy comes forward and drops his face you just really smash him with a knee and I reckon I'd do that in well, the UFC. Well on, on that we've got about three minutes now in our next break. Bit of a wrestle lads? Yeah. Well, well, men in love. I, I do kung fu as well. No, Just and, you know, and, I do, uh, do kung but fu. But this set MMA. is a little bit like an octagon, so we can try it out. It's time for another break now, so please go and make that trip to the smallest room in the house, or send that Facebook message, and we'll see you again in a couple of minutes' time as we talk animals. More to come on the daily rundown in a bit. Yeah.